Well, part two. My thumb hit the uh, the uh, cell phone trigger. Yeah. <clears throat> so. up all over Ontario tearing everything up yep oh, vans in good shape some of some of these uh, van uh, vehicles out here a lot of them actually is Ontario is really good condition. I gotta get a drink of uh, ah, black coffee. As much as we're going 70, I'm going over 80. So, that's a pretty Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, so, it's a beautiful uh, area here in Ontario. What I should have did was go into Crappy Tire and bought myself a little Mickey Mouse rod and reel. You know, for 10 or 12 bucks. And uh, wet the line. Wouldn't take much, I don't think, to find a couple worms. Well, I don't know. I never dug worms out here. One never knows. keep my phone down much as I can because you don't know if one of these buggers is in a ghost car then mo pay pay you know what I mean there we go yeah so in fourth gear. I was running it fifth gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, fourth gear. And it got monotonous. The reason that reason being because I this thing's only a small V8. I don't think any normal man would, would attempt this uh, feat. I guess I'm I'm ad I'm I'm uh, ad normal. Yeah, I should be, my, who knows, my brother could be off young, who knows. <laughs> if people know who he is, I guess he is a little bit, let's just say, a little lightheaded, maybe, I don't know. Off young. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so he ran the 4.7, small V8, with a working 5 speed. It's four wheel drive, but that don't mean anything. It's just a light truck, but uh, it's got highway gears, so like the rear end, I think, the axle on the back is highway gears, so that's not very good for uh, for towing. It's beautiful if you don't tow. <clears throat> well, it's good if you don't tow, <laughs> tow <laughs> if, if you don't tow heavy objects across this great nation. <laughs> But I got the Lord by my side. Right now I got Tim Hortons. I was born when Tim Hortons made his uh, first cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. He was a big, strong, husky, built like a wedge, Tim Horton. That's where they got the name. That's his namesake. Yeah. Big, strong, just like a... Back then, men... Men were built different. Eh? They, they had different equipment to work with. Um, they probably had a rock on each side of a big stick. That was their weights. And they picked rocks up over the head. Um, they cut wood in the woods with a big double bitter axe. 
he worked hard years ago. Anyway, he was built, that guy. Just look him up. Anyway, he made he went all over the world to find some beans. And he he was a he was a half decent hockey player. But he got crippled up, right? Hockey's bad. And hockey's beautiful, but it's hard on the body. Yeah, you, know, you gotta be tough to play hockey. Cut from a different cloth, made with ice. Ice baby, ice baby. Anyway, so he got out of that, did his whatever he had to do. Then he went all over the world, got some different beans, and started selling coffee. And shortly after, he, I don't know really all the history on it. I'm probably buggering it up, but he's a Canadian, of course. Uh, anyway, he he, uh, he passed on. Now, whether he had a, a few, two or three or five little chains of Tim Hortons, I don't know. But it's easy to find out now. You can ask Siri or Google or whatever. But I've seen a documentary on it once a long time ago. Yeah, his wife was distraught. She, she, you know, when you lose your husband, a man of that magnitude, that freaked her out. And I think they had some girls, and they wanted to put the girls through college or university. So... Some people come along, person or people, and got her when her guard was down, I figure. That's what happens in life, right? You get your guard down, and they jump aboard of you. They prance on you. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so she ended up, I believe, selling that business for $1 million. That's what I think it was. Now, don't take this to the bank take it to the bank but anyway so she realized she made a mistake but I think she was took the money and she 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 blew the money pretty quick because she put the kids through school and then she had no more money and she went back to courts to try to I don't know to get out of it somehow but I guess the courts wouldn't go for the woman they stuck with the guy whoever bought it so that's the way life is sometimes Maybe very to this day. But anyway, she lost it. And shame. Now don't hang me up to drive. I'm making mis mistakes on this uh, this little <laughs> driving documentary, I call it. Anyway, uh, um, so, I don't know. The kids grow up, whatever. So, the, the, one of the daughters, as far as I know, uh, gets a job at her at Tim Hortons. That's where, you know, that's her father's outfit that was, right? So she gets a job at Tim Hortons, and she kind of strikes up a relationship, like a friend friend relationship with a guy. Uh, the the owner's son and uh, the owner's son took a liking to the girl and uh, they didn't know what was going on whatever right <clears throat> they liked one another and, and they ended up I guess getting married and the son of the guy the guy was the the guy that whether he was with other people investing or not but she was the, the she was the daughter of the guy that bought Tim Hortons, so it sort of stayed in the family, half in the family, really. So they started running that business there, and they was doing really good. I don't know if they're together or not. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're probably still living. I mean, yeah. I'm still living, and that's when he made it. Okay, i got to get another drink. I hope this, if it shuts off... I'm tapping. Oh. Yeah. Sure tell you're in Ontario, all these green trees. But you know one place that's really nice, if you guys could ever get out there, is British Columbia. The trees and 
It reminds me of back home in Nova Scotia. In a way better. In a way. I shouldn't say better, but different features is, is, is better. Like, it's basically the same thing, right? Just the location. One's on one side, one's on, on the other side. Opposites. But, uh... I remember me and Hun went out there a long time ago to my uncle's uh, funeral and I I wanted to uh, jump in the ocean, right? I jumped in the Atlantic Ocean. I wanted to jump in the Pacific Ocean. So just, just take a dive in swim. Well, that water out there was so... The beach was so low that I practically went out almost a mile to get uh, up over my waist. It just gradually went out. And you look out from the from the beach side, look way out, you see heads, lunch people. You swear that like back home, well they'd be drowned it. It'd be hundred feet deep, 200, 300 feet deep. Out there it's not. Completely different. Yeah, so that was kind of kind of different, eh? So I jumped in. A little kid was out there. <laughs> about six years old and I, I hollered back they could barely make me out and the little kid looked up at me he said you talk funny and I said well, look at that I do do I mm -hmm. and he took off and I just walked back out got a kick out of that yeah why do they still sell butterscotch ripple ice cream got to look that butterscotch ripple my goodness, that butterscotch ripple's good. Yeah. It was a freaky taste, butterscotch ripple. They might still make it, I don't know. And maybe it's not called that no more. There's a lot of white cars everywhere. Everybody's got a white car. Trucks. I think it's mostly for business. Mostly business people. Companies, they have white white trucks. I, I think white is not too bad to, to get clean, but the best color to get, if you don't want to wash your truck very much, the color I had, it was uh, silver. Well, I drove that truck everywhere. It's an old F-150, and I drove it everywhere, in the woods, and bushes, and dirt roads, and, and I never washed it once. Not that I would have. I mean, I wouldn't have washed it. You know, I had some a little bit of rust issues and stuff, and so there's no sense trying to wash something, keep something clean and shiny when, when you know it's not, it's not going to win any awards. I used to shine. I used to shine some. A vehicle. I had a 65 four door. I don't think it was a hard top. Four door post, I think. Anyway, it was a black 65 four door Impala with a 283. And uh, Gordon Raymond owned it. He kept these things really clean. He kept himself clean and house clean and my buddy lives in his house now, Alfred, the Russian. Yeah, the Russian lives down there. One thing about the Russian, he don't talk, he, he, he don't talk loud. He's a quiet man. You can barely hear him, that Russian. <laughs> I think when he whispers, he snores. He's so loud. Uh, yeah, so he, he had that. And I think my brother Mark, he got it, that I, I got it from, I got it from Mark, I think. And then Reed, Reed got it from me when his kids were small, Jeremy and Chrissy and Jeffrey. They were very tiny. They were small anyway. It was very big. And you know how kids do, they get in the vehicle and they start ripping stuff apart, like not ripping apart, but 
throwing garbage around and here and there. And Rick, Rick just told him, you know what I mean? Quiet the fuck down, you know what I mean? You're gonna tear this old car right up. Man, like you got a bunch of animals in here. And we all did it. We, we all was animals when we was young. If the kids say they wasn't an animal, well, I don't know what to say on that. They might be fibbing. But anyway, so I ended up getting that, and uh, I would wax that up and shine that up. And that was a nice looking car. Had the wheel skirts on it. It was a beautiful car. Red, red vinyl interior with black outside. Oh my goodness. That was so nice. And uh, I think I was fishing. Yeah, I was fishing, uh, I think, back then. 88 and 89, 90. At about the time when I had it. And uh, I wanted to sell it. And Randy come along and... What are you going to do with the car? I think he asked me up in the veranda. Up on the Kenny Road. He said... I said, I think I'm going to sell it. How much? And I told him, right? Yeah, I'll buy it. And he, he bought it. Randy's got the money. I'm telling you, he's smart, eh? He is a smart feller. Yeah, reminds me of old Wally Luke. But I'm growing Wally Luke's beard. Randy can't get me on that one. See, I got the beard. And Randy's got the money. So there you go. And I don't know who's got the time. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what I mean? You go, these trips. These trips, uh, I think it was early this morning, or last night or this morning, I heard a noise on my truck. It was going, making that noise. And the faster I'd go, it seemed like, a, and I thought the front wheel was coming off. It's one of them feelings. And I went, no friggin' way. This ain't gonna do it to me again. I lost a wheel in Ontario two years ago. And that went bye-bye. I was telling you that story before, right? Lost a hind tire off the old F-150. Yeah. And anyway, so I kept hearing it. And I, I moved the steering wheel back and forth. I slammed on the brakes to make sure maybe the rotor was loose or but I couldn't wasn't nothing changing. I pulled over on the side of the road. I pulled over on the side of the road maybe five times. If I'm exaggerating, it was only by one. So four times. This ain't clean. underneath the car. I said, maybe it's got one of them uh, yokes in the center of the dry shaft and, and maybe the rubbers because I used to run a lot of old stuff. But no, it's a direct dry shaft. Uh, and all, It had all inspection done on it legally. Beautiful inspection. Notice I say legally. <laughs> Cha-ching, you know what I mean? Cost, parts, and all this stuff. It's all done legally. Then, uh, I had to put my phone down so it looked like a popo, but I think the popos are all black vehicles, but you never know. They could be undercover. I don't want to get caught. So I make a long story short, and it's hard for me to do that, make a long story short, but I'll try. So I couldn't figure it out. So I called Randy. He never answered. I don't know, an hour or so, two hours. I don't know what it was. He called back. Yeah. And I, I told him, I said, well, I... I there was a plastic piece of uh, material underneath there that sort of is like a guard that covers uh, your oil filter and it stuck out and I thought it was it was whipping it was whipping like and hitting the uh, tie rod in I mean no big deal right and I pushed on it and it moved a little bit 
and I don't know if I hit something else or whatever, like when I touched it. So I got back in and it seemed to stop it. That made it better. Well, um, so that, I went practically all day. And then I heard it coming back again. But it wasn't as aggressive, but it was, it was still, it was still like, right? And you don't want to hear that stuff. <laughs> if you're home, you don't want to hear it, but not when you're not home. Anyway, so I said, I got to get to the bottom of this and try to find this out. So I went through some lights and stuff, intersection, put my blanker on, went in, went into Wally's rural parking lot. I went on to, on to investigate again. So when I went under, I looked and something stood out. It looked like there was some marks on the tar rod end from the uh, power steering hose. Now, Isaac, a journeyman mechanic, he did all my work, good worker, and more than likely, he put a he put a zip tie up then on there or something, but it must have come off or something. I don't know, but it's, as far as I know, it's what it is. So I would look at you, and it would it would it would it would slap against the frame, and it would it it could slap against the uh, on the big tie rod that goes across. So I said, okay, good, good. This could be it. And so far, I hasn't been doing it, but so I tried to, I wanted to go in the store, and I said, I can't spend no money. I need all the money I can get to get across this great nation. Uh, so I took, I took, started taking the lace out of my boot. What's this here? General store. There, this fellow is a wheeler man. Uh... this cruise I set the cruise on uh, almost 90 I got people behind me probably cussing me out so I, I I said no I'm not gonna do that I don't want to waste my good lace I, I looked on the back of my pickup truck the Dodge there was an old piece of orange looked like hay twine line so I grabbed it doubled it up went underneath took off my Stetson and put on my hard hat my cowboy, uh, my ball cap hard hat and I tied it up. A couple clove hitches, a couple half hitches. Got it up underneath there. And uh, I haven't heard it since. And that would make sense because it was long, right? And it, it, it might have come, it might have come slipped off or something might have happened there, right? Because I never heard it before. So I think that's what probably what happened. Good Lord willing. Some bumpy roads here, I'll tell you. Man, I gotta get another swig. Got coffee right there. Uh, every time I touch this phone, I shut it off. Oh. same intersection before I went into Walmart parking lot. Remember I told you that? Well, I got behind this guy at the same intersection because we was hitting up north. Like He was going and I was going too. And I just saw this. He had a aluminum trailer which was smart. I don't know if it was a U-Haul. It looked like a, a hand, a, like a bought uh, aluminum. And he had a big basically it's not a square body but it's like a square body. A, a bronco, uh, bronco, yeah, a big, 
uh, Bronco, like the 70s. This would be in the 80s, I think. But yeah, man, with white, just like new. New gas tank, had a veteran, uh, uh, no, Sport the Troops number plate. He was from Alberta. And uh, he was on a backward trailer, and he was pulling it. I seen him go out, and he was gone! I went, what the frig? That must be a diesel. No, it was a Ford, one of them Raptors. Them baby's got some horsepower. Like a 6.2 liter engine, I think. I only got a 4.7. This is my little jelly bean. You know what I mean, jelly bean? This is like... I think I can, I think I can, yes I can. This is like the turtle. He had the hair. Oh, he's got the hair. Anyway. There's a challenger. Pretty soon I'm gonna, uh, once I stop the game, uh, probably another hour or so, or two, I'll, re I'll retort my well, not retort. I check all my lug nuts, my nuts, uh, every second or third fill up. Because you know what happens. I lost that whole wheel, everything. I lost the shock, the uh, the caliper, the uh, I lost the caliper, brake pads, rim, tire, rotor. I think it was a rotor in a shoe. I lost everything. And uh, I was in trouble. But a uh, OPP cop rolled right in and was on a narrow little road. He pulled right in and uh, like right in. Like he stopped. I couldn't even open the door. He, he, he cut me right off. He said, Sir, you can't park your vehicle here. You got to get that trailer off the road. This trailer was on the road, right? No one. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, you just give me a minute to pump up my tire, and I'll just move to the side. It shouldn't take me long. He looked at the truck that was, the axle was right into the